I want you to turn to your neighbor and say, what can stand against us? Come on, turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, what can stand against us? If our God is for us, then who or what could be against us? This is a great day to stand on that declaration that if our God is for us this morning, that nothing can stand against us. Do you believe that? For us this morning, then nothing can stand against us. We serve an awesome God. And like the words of the song says, our God is greater and our God is stronger. And we came here this morning to worship the King of Kings that is greater and that is stronger. So let's lift up a praise in this house this morning. Come on, let's put our hands together. Lord God, you're worthy. Lord God, you're excellent. There is none like you, Lord God. We exalt you, we exalt you. We praise you, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. We thank you for your goodness. We thank you for who you are. Hallelujah. And he's a great God. Let's put our hands together as we welcome Pastor Deb. Come on. Hallelujah. Woo! The Lord is good. Amen. Amen. Say, I came to worship him. On this wonderful holiday weekend, on this wonderful holiday weekend, we have come to magnify Jesus. Amen. Father, we come in the name of Jesus. Church, there's something that happens when you say, I come in the name of Jesus. Everything that he is is open wide to us today. Amen. So, Heavenly Father, we praise you. We praise you, Lord. We set our sights on you and all the things on this lower level. Father, Lord, we put it aside and we say we have come to magnify Jesus. We have come to love on Jesus. We have come, Lord, just to tell you how grateful we are for you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Father, Lord, as we honor Memorial Day, Lord, we thank you for your hand of protection over America, over our lives. And Lord, for all of those who have given the ultimate sacrifice, Lord, we, we say, Lord, thank you that there were people that were willing to fight for our liberties. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I praise your holy name. I give you glory. We expect you to do great things today. Amen. As we yield and as we worship you, have your way in this place. And everybody said, amen, amen, amen. Come, let us sing. Come, let us sing a song.
I mean, God does not keep us on the same level. Amen. He takes us higher and higher and higher. He'll take us as far in him as we want to go if we're hungry. Are we hungry for Jesus today? Oh, thank you, Lord. You're the God of the breakthrough. You're the God of the miraculous. You're the God that is faithful. You're the God that is able. And you are the God who seeks to do us good all day long. Oh, with lifted hands, we praise you in this house. Come on, lift your hands with me. We lift our hands in surrender. And we lift our hands in honor. Oh, nobody like you, Jesus. You take us from glory to glory and victory to victory. Higher levels of blessing and revelation. You are faithful in all your ways, oh God. How we worship you in this house. How we worship you in our hearts, oh God. For you alone are worthy, amen. You're worthy. Thank you, Lord. I give you glory. I mean that. I'm not just singing that. I mean that. I give you glory for all you've brought me through. Do I get a witness in the house? I mean, do I have a witness in the house? Hallelujah. Lord, and now I'm singing this for Debbie. Let it be your testimony this morning. Back to the top. I give you glory. Nobody else can give you my glory. I give you glory for all you've brought me through. And now I'm ready for whatever you want to do. I'm ready, Lord. The power moving forward to follow. And now I'm ready for whatever you want to do. I'm going to take it back to the top. I give you glory for all you brought me through. And now I'm ready for whatever you want to do. I'm moving. to follow after you and now I'm ready for whatever you want to do your presence your presence is an open door we want you
So come now, Lord. Sing it with me. So come now, Lord. Like never be. You are my strength, Woo. strength like no one, <laughs> strength like no one, it comes all the way, it reaches to me, that's it, you are my strength.
your spirit lives within me so I will walk in your come on take some steps this morning Woo! Say my victory my victory us so much by sending the comforter yes. to live on the inside of us. Welcome, Holy Spirit. Yes. Welcome to this house of worship. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your anointing. Thank you for your ministry to our hearts. For you can do only that which you can do. <laughs> Minister to us in a supernatural way, and we thank you for it. Jesus, we bless your holy name. Glory and honor to your name. Your name is highly exalted. It is above all other names. At the mention of your name, every knee must bow and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. And the church said, amen, amen. and amen. Now let's just take a moment and lift our hearts before the Lord and bless him out of our hearts. We bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. Glory, glory, glory and honor. Glory, glory, glory and honor. We bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. Oh, la Maria, la ma bocorri, la ma. We bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. You are holy, you are awesome, you are glorious, you are wondrous. We bless you, Lord, we bless you, Lord. Hallelujah. We bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless the Hallelujah. Lord, O oh my soul, yes. and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless his holy name.
say this, this out loud with me. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus I, bless you. I bless you. I thank you. I, thank you. I, honor, you. I honor you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus and we say Christ. amen and amen. Turn to your neighbor and smile real big and tell him, this is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. are in for a treat today. Pastor James and I are going to be teaching together. Yeah. Won't that be fun? Hallelujah. We just want to welcome everyone to Grandview Church today and those that are watching online. It is just awesome to see you. Did you come expecting? If you did, you'll leave. You'll leave full. I'm so glad that God promises to fill the hungry soul. Amen? Amen. So just say, I'm hungry, I'm hungry. For, more for more and more. Keep it coming, oh God. Keep it coming, oh God. Amen. Well, if you are uh, worshiping with us today for the first time, we are just so thankful that you have decided to worship with us at Grand View, especially on this holiday uh, weekend. Would you give everybody a hand today? And if you are worshiping with us today, the Bates, I love you dearly. So happy to see you. I love them. And, um, but I love you all. Amen. I love all of you. Uh, Anyhow, I just had to say that. Roland and Pat, you are precious to me. Just wave your hand so they know who I'm talking about. That's them over there. Yeah. And the reason is, is because, you know, sometimes when you have physical issues, it's a real sacrifice to get dressed and come to the house of God. But I am so glad you made that choice today. It's always a joy to have you. Amen. So anyhow, if you're worshiping with us for the first time today, we thank you. And there is a card, and it is in uh, the back of the chair that is in front of you. And one side says new to GVC, and the other side says information. If you would be so kind to fill out the new to GVC card, uh, portion. We would love that. And just put it in the offering uh, basket as it goes by you, or you can take it to the table that is in front of the cameras, and someone will be there to greet you. But we have a gift for you, and we want to make sure that you get it and don't leave without it. It's called a surf bottle, and in it there's a book that says, God loves you. We wrote that for you. And there's a pen and there's candy. It's just a lot of good things. And so make sure you take that with you when you leave. And again, we are so thankful that all of you are here today. Amen? Amen. And I want to thank Kay Rains for ministering on Wednesday night. We uh, watched it online and it was awesome. Amen. The whole night was awesome. Now that summer's here, if you're, you're not coming on Wednesday nights, you need to start coming. Amen. It's light, but it was an awesome message. Be bold. Amen. Be bold, people. Be bold in the Lord. And so um, 
if you're looking at me and thinking something's off kilter, well, we weren't here Wednesday night because I had cataract surgery on Wednesday. And this eye, and can you believe they said you cannot wear makeup? I looked at them like, hey, wait a minute. What are you? I, I didn't know I was up for this, that I couldn't wear makeup. So I chose to do one eye, thinking my... <laughs> I was thinking my glasses would hide it until I put on my glasses and I'm like, this is double, double reading. And so anyhow, you get what you get. Amen? <laughs> Just look on this side. And, uh, but I'm so thankful for the doctors that worked on me. It tr I told Jamie it's truly miraculous. I mean, I can read things, and I can uh, see signs, and I told the doctor, I said, I was wondering, is it a car or is it a bush? And so Jamie quit letting me drive when he's in the car, and so anyhow, so thank you, Miss Kay. That was a huge blessing. Now, I want to, for people in ministry, I'm going to just take a second to do this, and I'm going to train us how to be mature in ministry. If you wait for all things to be right and perfect, you're never going to do it. Amen? You just have to obey the Lord. And so as I was walking in here, one earring fell off. And then so I'm like, where? I found the earring. Where's the back? And Kurt and them, they found the back of the earring, tried to put it on. It wouldn't stay on. And so I'm working with it. Keep going, Rhea. Keep singing, Rhea. Keep singing, Rhea. And so, um, you know, and so then I thought, okay, well, am I really going to get up there without my earrings? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. And uh, I thought, well, I'll just let the hair hide, hide. But they were beautiful earrings. So I want you to know I do have them. And so, but the one thing about ministry, people, if something isn't just the way you want it, you get up and you do it anyhow, and you change the atmosphere. Amen. You don't let the what's happening change you or your mission or your vision. You get up, earrings or no earrings, makeup or no makeup. I'm here, and the anointing doesn't care if I have earrings or I have makeup on. It's all about the heart. The Bible says that God looks upon the heart, and man looks on the outward appearance. So step in and look at the heart today. Amen. Oh, come on. Just give me a shout of praise. Well, I've already thanked you for worshiping with us today on Memorial Day. And Jamie will talk more about that. I want to make sure that uh, all the children are signed up for VBS June 9th through the 12th. It's going to be awesome. And so uh, ages 3 to 12. And you can get more information at the table out under the uh, portico this Friday. Uh, our teens are going to celebrate the graduates at their party on Friday night at 7 o'clock. So if you have a teen, make sure that your teen's here to enjoy the fun and the fellowship. Amen. In the, in the bulletin was our June calendar. A couple of things didn't quite get on there, so we will redo it. But uh, Saturday, June 1st, is the men's meeting. So men, go ahead and get signed up. That is like right around the corner. That's Saturday. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Woo! Where did May go, people? Woo! Wow. It's Saturday. So uh, make sure you're there, men. It's going to be great. June 22nd is the uh, 55 Couples 29th Shoes on the Move. And here's the one you really need to uh, put on your calendar. October the 6th, we will be celebrating our 14th anniversary as a church. Yay. And we have invited uh, Pastor Lonnie Johns, he's from Christ Central Church in Lake City, but he, he is an amazing minister. Uh, God is just using him greatly, and he is also over uh, Destiny Fellowship. 
and that's who this church is connected with. As you know, Bishop Tony Miller used to be over that, but he went to glory, and so Lonnie Johns is now over uh, Destiny Fellowship, and so make sure you put that on your calendar. When are you going to be here? October 6th at 10 o'clock. Would you make my babe welcome? Praise the Lord. Amen. It's good to see you today. God bless you on this beautiful holiday weekend, Memorial Day weekend. And that's a big deal for a nation, to honor those who have sacrificed themselves on behalf of the nation. Isn't that amazing? Praise God. And that's a big deal in this house of worship because we see the connection between the sacrifice Jesus made for our spiritual freedom and the sacrifice the soldiers have made for our national freedom. And as Christians, we get it. Come on. I said as Christians, we get it. And uh, when somebody lays down their life so that we can have a life of freedom uh, that is a tremendous and a beautiful thing. So many fellow citizens that have put on the uniform, taken up arms, gone to foreign lands to fight wars, to protect us. Their death has meant that there's been a hole in that family ever since. Spouses miss their wives, miss their husband or husband their wife or father, the children, and on it goes, generationally it goes. There's a hole in that family because they made a sacrifice, and that family had to go on without them and make a life without them. So it is a big deal when a nation takes time to honor those who have laid down their lives so we can live a life of freedom. Amen. And the church said amen. Amen. Now, in the Cafe Rico, we have several posters up of the names of soldiers that have uh, died in service to the country. And um, Curtis got those from one of the uh, military bases roundabout, and they were uh, redoing and renovating. And so they were taking these things down. And he says, I, I can't dispose of these. We're going to hang on to them. I said, let's make a display of them on Memorial Day. Because the paper might be tattered a little bit. And the mounting might be worn from being up on a wall for years and years and years. But those names mean something. Those names are the heroes of our nation. And as a pastor who uh, is able to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ freely. I can say what I want freely until they take me away. And I'm not sure when that might be, <laughs> but maybe it will be. But until they do that, I can preach the gospel. And you can't do that everywhere. Come on, you can't do that everywhere. There's communist countries that they will arrest you for that. And now there's more socialistic countries that have defined the gospel as hate speech and they will fine you and, and you're breaking the law to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. But in this country, this is the greatest country on the planet. <laughs> we hit the jackpot, let me tell you. Uh, I am the grandson of immigrants and my grandparents immigrated in from Scotland and looking for the American dream and found it. I'm living the American dream because of them. And so I'm what that make me second generation American. So I'm so blessed and I get it and I understand. And my grandparents, when uh, we moved into Gainesville, my granddad put up a flagpole. It, it, I don't know, it must have been 100 feet tall, I don't know. <laughs> big old American, bigger than the house, big old American flag on there. And I was raised in a very, very patriotic fashion uh, because I am a, um, I'm a capitalist. Come on, church. I'm a Christian. Come on, church. I'm American. Come on, hallelujah. I believe in democracy, believe in the republic, 
I was raised in school and raised in Cub Scouts, Boy Scouts, saying, I pledge allegiance to the flag, the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Y'all were raised the same way, weren't you? <laughs> Amen. We used to do that in school. I don't know if they do that in schools anymore. But we're living in a silly time where the American flag triggers people and we're told to take down the American flag and, and all this silly nonsense that's going on. But we're the remnant. That's right. we're, we're the remnant. Amen. We believe in God and country. Amen. And where God is using us mightily in these days and he is raising us up to make a stand. Right. And uh, I just say, let freedom ring. Let's be patriotic. Let's be Christians. Let's be Americans. And uh, let's honor those who have honored us by giving their lives in service to this country. Right. Amen. I'm going to show a little three-minute video it kind of makes a beautiful point, and then we'll receive the offering right after that. Tony, if you would, please. Amen. God bless America is right. Amen. Isn't that a beautiful thing? Ushers, come on ahead. Let's prepare our hearts to receive the morning tithe and offering. Father God, we give you thanks for the opportunity to live in this great nation. We want to honor you in it. And as we pray, God bless America, we pray we are a blessing to America. That we're good citizens of this land that we're patriotic in our ways, that we add and not subtract from it, Lord. We thank you for that. We pray for the peace of Israel, Father. May America be a wonderful ally of Israel as it has always been. We thank you for that in Jesus' holy name. We say amen. God bless you in your giving.
Amen. That was beautiful. Love the choir. Hallelujah. Well, we're going to do things a little bit different today. Amen. Deb and I are going to teach together. We're going to do it. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I had finished preparing notes last night, and um, I told Debs, I said, I, I think you should be teaching with me tomorrow, and I don't like to give her too much warning about anything, <laughs> and so... He's very good at that. <laughs> so she may be seeing the notes for the first time right now, but um, it's funny because we used to teach a lot together, mm -hmm. and, uh, but in pulpits... And when we first started out 14, 13, 14 years ago in this church, we always taught uh, together. And then as things progressed and, and we moved on, uh, we kind of developed our own teaching styles and, and uh, got in preaching individually. Uh, but one of the things that have been on my heart for a while is uh, to do a, a podcast. And I don't know how God's going to develop that but just to have a conversation with my wife about things concerning the Word and really focus on the how-tos of Christianity. How do you live this life in victory? And how can you read the Bible and get something out of it that you can apply to your life and it makes sense? Right. And so uh, that's what we're all about. And that's what today's message is really all about. You'll see in your bulletin we've supplied you with uh, 10 major, major uh, spiritual laws and the scriptures that go with them. And we'll get to that in just a minute. Uh, but before we get started, Deb, why don't you open us in prayer, Hallelujah. sing a song? Do some cartwheels or... Um. Are you ready to receive the word today? Amen. Now I just noticed that I'm seeing the side of the face without the makeup. <laughs> Everybody on this side of the church is with makeup. Everybody on this side of the church is without makeup. If I turn this way, if I preach this way... <clears throat> Oh, thank you, thank Isn't you. Isn't she? Yeah, absolutely. You know, I just, uh, you'll do what you need to do, amen? Amen. But I'm not going to stop preaching. No, keep on. No matter what. That's right. Amen. Heavenly amen. Father, you said you would fill the hungry soul. T so today, we thank you that you open up your word to us. Not, we're on different levels, dealing with different things. But in the midst of all that, we need you. Yes. You at the center yes. of it all. So Holy Spirit, take these principles that we will share today that Jamie and I live by. Mm -hmm. We're not just teaching. This is how we live. And we, can, we have proven that the word of God is true. Mm -hmm. And so, Lord, thank you for your anointing. You minister it to your people the way that they need and Lord we say that we have ears to hear and we will receive your word today in Jesus name and everybody said amen, amen. and amen. 